po ay uh, pinanganak po rito sa Baguio City. I am from Baguio City. So, uh, my parents, uh, taga rito rin po. Um, Touch Christian uh, Fellowship uh, sent me to South Korea uh, 1996. Uh, um, in fact, it was just the third option. But uh, when I went there, when I went to South Korea, I was pretty sure that God called me there. Um, we're, we're sort of uh, still discovering kung ano po talaga ang magandang gawin po doon. Ang main na ministry ko po ay para sa mga OFWs. So uh, we have been ministering to factory workers. Uh, and now, uh, kasama na yung mga whites na mga uh, Filipino whites ng mga Korean nationals po doon. And um, um, uh, balik po tayo sa 1996, uh, doon po talaga nag-upisa. Wala po tayo talaga official na uh, mission doon. Like, uh, uh, yung po nakipag-arrange tayo sa kanilang uh, Baptist Convention. Uh, kaya nung ako ay nag-apply ng aking uh, missionary visa, ay uh, ako palang pala talaga ang first na... na uh, kanilang uh, uh, sinubukan na i-apply yan. Uh, kasi, dami inspections. Noong 97, lahat kami, kasama ko family ko, nagpunta na po kami doon na as one family na nag-serve doon. Uh, we, we thank the Lord for all those years na sinustain po kami doon. Uh, doing a lot of things na ma-reach out yung mga kababayan natin doon. Um, we don't uh, operate uh, yung, sari yung budget talaga. We just rely kung ano talaga yung, yung pinagkakaloob ng Panginoon sa amin sa pamamagitan ng uh, lokal na aming sinet up doon. Um, by the way, before na pumunta po ako doon, I was... Uh, uh, sent there as a replacement of Dr. Casino. Uh, upa uwi na po kasi po siya. And uh, I tried my best to keep the mission alive until this day. So, uh, um, ano pa pa ang gusto kong sabihin sa inyo? Um, <clears throat> uh, mahirap din po kasi ang uh, ang standard of living doon, mas mataas talaga sa atin dito. It's uh, so high. Uh, but thankfully, we tried our best really to uh, not, uh, di naman yung talaga gusto natin na uh, humingi sa, sa, sa Korean uh, uh, church. But uh, we tried our best to really survive autonomously. Um, kaya, Papasalamat kami sa Panginoon that we have survived all those years. Um, by the way, my wife and my daughter, kasama ko sila sa, dito ngayon sa Baguio, but uh, hindi po natin sila makakasama ngayon. My daughter is uh, studying at uh, um, Yonsei University. Um, it's, another, it's another testimony ng Panginoon na kahit pa pa, napakabuti po talaga niya. Um, um, yung mga OFWs, uh, kailangan mabilisan talaga ang ministry natin doon because uh, hindi sila permanent. Hindi po sila permanent. Mga 3, 4, 4 years, 5 years, uwi sila. So just imagine yung paano ka mag-replenish. Paano ka talaga mag-replenish. So we, we have to work very fast that in a span of three or four years, at least, meron kaming nare-reach out talaga. So, uh, ganun yung cycle po ng ating mission po doon. Um, I minister doon po sa Seoul, pinaka, uh, sa Seoul mismo, sa Seoul, uh, Seoul City uh, ng uh, South Korea. Doon, ang, doon yung ministry po natin doon. And they also send their greetings to you, by the way. Uh, I think um, 
Ano pang magandang sabihin? Yeah, I think I, it is best that you ask the question na lang po. Since I'm here, I say it. so many things in my head that I cannot just contain everything in 10 minutes, so probably I would just like to entertain questions for me to just pick out the best uh, what's in my head. Uh, may questions po kayo tungkol sa mission natin sa South Korea? Yes. They estimate still uh, mga between 50 and 70. Yeah. Mga maabot hanggang 20 lampas na. Yeah. Yeah, about 2025 to f kasi yung yung on off on off yan dahil pag after 5 years Minsan, talagang pag hindi naka-cope yung church, magsasara, magbubukas ulit, ganun sila doon. But thankfully, sa atin, dire-diretso po talaga tayo. Since, 90, uh, since 94, nag-umpisa yung work natin, and until now, ay andun pa rin po tayo sa, um, sa South Korea. My visa is indefinite, by the way. Anong requirement po uh, uh, visa or immigration uh, documents or immigration process? May, may mga basic uh, uh, documents or requirements. Uh, um, uh, one from the uh, Southern Baptist Convention, Korea Baptist, Con I should say, Korea Baptist Convention, na partnering with, uh, uh, with our convention here. So, muna uh, siyempre um, yung yung um, yung commissioning certificate, mga yun po, basic po yun. Uh, Nagdagan na po nila ngayon, pati credentials na rin po. Um, um, at least ordained po siya. Uh, may asawa, if possible, hindi. Pero lang po yung may asawa kung... <laughs> eh kung uh, uh, wala po, eh wala din problema, basta po ano. Oh, pwede po. <laughs> oh. So, uh, uh, okay. We will discuss more. That's go to later. Uh, meron po tayo ngayon na uh, sa kasalukuyan ay interesado po na gustong mag-missionary po doon. But, uh, it's, iba kasi po yung ating strategia po doon. Hindi yung well-organized talaga pong organized when you say organize eh. Lahat kompleto na we talk about yung pagpo-process, may magpo-process and so on. Sa atin kasi doon, eh, talagang uh, unstructured po yung style natin doon. So, uh, ang importante na lang eh, yung heart po talaga na gusto mo na mag-mission po doon. Um, when, you know, when I uh, started uh, the do doing missions po doon, I came only with few dollars and my suitcase. So, uh, I did not ask for Magkano ba naman ang sweldo ko kaya dyan o ano, ganito, or what? I just, uh, have, I, I just have to concentrate on uh, how many people we can save, how many people we can disciple, and how many people we can send. So doon na lang ako nag-focus and uh, eto, buhay pa rin po tayo. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, we will not proceed to that uh, structure later on, but uh, as of this time, uh, dahil uh, wala, hindi pa tayo financially able. So what we do is we partner with some other Koreans now, uh, Korean churches like uh, hosting, pag host po ng uh, lugar kung saan siya mag operate Let's say, Pung Pusan, do we know of uh, a Korean church willing to open his church na uh, doon ay i-host niya yung Filipino congregation or mission natin, diaspora missions natin doon. Uh, that's what we do. And uh, may pinag-uusapan kami doon kasi kasama ko doon ngayon si Pastor uh, Pastor Mar Umali na kailangan natin magsama kasi para sa ikatlo. Uh, what we do is mag-share tayo ng resources para sa kanya. And that's what we do. Pang, sa pang, pang apat, pang lima, that's what we do. Because that's what I did for uh, to the two other missionaries na nandoon. Uh, but uh, right now, kami na ni Pastor Mar lang ang ngayon ang nag, uh, 
uh, may cooperation sa, ban sa area na yan, sa area of support. So, kung sino man po yung gusto na mag-missionary sa South Korea, uh, you're always welcome. Yeah. Oh, yes, certainly. Um, the reason why I I am still there because uh, South Korea, wala pa talaga yung ability, just like in the United States, na uh, English is uh, just around the corner. Doon eh, halos zero pa rin yung English doon. So hindi nakaka-relate yung mga Filipinos doon. Kaya yan ang need sa mga countries na almost zero yung English na salita. Uh, otherwise, uh, they would take that option of, uh, of uh, bridging uh, two cultures through that uh, mode of uh, uh, language, yung English po. At saka yung culture, um, ang South Korea, kasi ang mga Koreans, sila talaga ay, uh, they really value their own culture. So, meron silang expression na tap tap eh yung uh, parang nahihirapan sila na makipag-jive uh, sa'yo dahil foreigner ka. Yan. So sila din tayo, mga foreigner doon, eh, medyo nahihirapan din po tayo sa kanila. But uh, may mga churches naman po na, and mga, maraming mga Christians na are willing to reach out, but still yung culture napakataas talaga. So yes, ma'am, um, may mga ganun po. Yes, ma'am? May go follow up. Uh... You were there for how many years? In 20 years po. 20 years. Uh -huh. uh, I'm very much interested in the impact of your missionary work as far as person Jesus is concerned. How many were converted? Uh, what is the hope that, uh, you know, even five more years, you're going to convert more, uh, and uh, it's going to be long-lasting, not just branch yet. Are we uh, talking about Filipino? Workers put on, or we really yeah, OFWs. OFWs. Uh, the continuity of their Christianity. Or what, what is the impact of the missionary work that you're doing since you've been there for 20 years? Oh, okay, yeah. Well, um, we go back to the shepherd repo, yung basic natin that uh, hindi naman lahat po na nagputa doon ay Christians. So, marami po karamihan. Uh, from ang background Roman Catholic, so they have what you call the Hewadong and yan. Now all through those uh, years na yon, uh, we have tried our best reaching out to them, sharing Christ, um, and then what we do is, after sharing Christ, we disciple them. Um, uh, tatlo po yung trainings namin doon, uh, discipleship training. Uh, core training and evangelism training programs. Tatlong programs po yun na pinagdadaanan, dinadaanan po nila. And then after that, oh, we pray na, we hope they will take the challenge na but sa pag-uwi nila, maging, um, maging instrument sila ng Panginoon sa mga local churches na inuwian po nila o pinupuntahan. Pag wala silang nakitang, kasi pag, yung mga iba naman po pag umuwi eh, uh, wala sila talagang alam kung saan sila pupunta. So, winter step kung saan, kung taga rito po, eh, may mga kilala tayong church dyan, eh, doon kayo sabi namin. Mahalaga is, uh, you continue yung uh, natutunan nyo dito, and then na uh, mag-grow sa mga local churches dyan sa bansa natin. Uh, so, ganun po yung cycle po doon. The, the important thing in, in, in surviving for those years is, we ought to develop a kind of system that will replenish, uh, constantly replenish the work. Otherwise, uh, um, baka hindi kami tatagal po doon. Yeah. We rely so much from local support, not from the Koreans. Unless, of course, may mga ilang missionaries po doon na whether may tao wala, buhay sila dahil May Koreano, may backup eh. But sa atin kasi eh, wala eh. I took the chance para tayong mga Marines doon eh. Kung wala, wala. Talagang ganyan. Kung meron, meron, okay lang. That's how we survive. <laughs>